Hello, this is Dread from Last Epic Builds, and today's video topic is going to be about my Flame Reef Spellblade. So, story time, the reason why I made this build was because uh, a recent viewer wanted me to make a new Spellblade based around Flame Reef because they saw that there wasn't that many Flame Reef build guides, and the ones that were out there weren't very desirable, and what do I mean by that? Well, I've noticed there's a certain mechanic that I've known about for a long time and a friend of mine, Foe, has known about for a long time about utilizing Flame Reeve with a specific node to make it into a screen-wide AoE. Well, everyone else's build I've seen has focused on damage or ignite or whatever, and I'll be honest, all of them aren't really that good in comparison to this one. The, the ability to clear the whole screen at once is definitely way more tantalizing than dealing a lot of damage so that's what i did is i finally ended up making a build i thought someone else was going to make a build on this but they never did so the idea is, is we're utilizing flame reef with the node world fire plus the rhythm of fire uh, kind of a combination so that every fourth flame reef causes a bigger explosion and then of course world fire is a circle aoe node right so we create a circle aoe but we're also taking a node that makes it so that our fire branch right counts as one of the attacks for the aoe node right for the rhythm of fire node so all we have to do to cause the rhythm of fire is to attack with fire brand three times and then attack with flame reeve and then we get the insane AOE, right, every single time uh, on clockwork. Well, now we're also utilizing Firebrand to give us more damage per sack of Firebrand. So we can sack up Firebrand six times for the total of 120% more damage from Firebrand. And then, of course, uh, we also have Blade Weaving stacks at the top of the Spellblade tree, which gives us more damage per stack as well. So that kind of combination allows us to deal a lot more single target when we need to. But we can also kind of just get up to three charges to cause the world fire, right? Well, there's also a note in Firebrand is if you are consuming more than three charges three or more charges right it will always crit meaning we don't have to build melee crit on our gear we don't have to build crit anywhere we are always critting no matter what which is absolutely amazing for a build like this it's kind of like the smelter's wrath build but good it's kind of funny considering that you know this is pretty much a better version of smelter's wrath but we won't get into that uh so being able to always crit means you can build into crit multi a lot more readily right so we're utilizing the dual wielding the dual wielding pretty much saved this build because uh being able to dual wield a kree which is a weapon that just has a very small amount of melee physical damage but since we're playing flame reef and melee physical damage does not matter for us right so we don't really care about the melee physical, which means that we can run a Kree, which gives us like 80 crit multi. That's insane. Uh, I'm getting up to like 475 crit multi and with perfect gear, I'll be up to like 500% crit multi. Is that worth it? I don't know. Is it fun? Yes. Yes, it is fun. So, uh, the, and of course as well, the other offhand has to be a sword, which is sad. We can't do a wield crease, otherwise this build would be insane. But uh, obviously we can just run sword. Uh, you do need a small bit of attack speed. Well, so on my weapon here, on my secondary weapon, my sword, I am running some attack speed instead of flat damage. Flat damage would technically be better to make your numbers higher. Like for instance, right now, I'm getting like 260k crits on the dummy in the upper end with this setup. And then of course, if I use the better sword that I crafted, it'll get up to like 320k crits but the issue with the build overall is you do have to get those three procs of firebrand right to cause the world fire well more attack speed is better for that like i i found that a hundred percent attack speed is comfortable than obviously you have the attack speed from the enchant weapon right but having a hundred percent uh, increased attack speed is kind of the niche spot you want to be so if you can manage to get that without utilizing your weapons it's amazing right then you can focus on melee crit and uh, melee lightning obviously right and yes we are turning flame reef into lightning to take advantage of shock off of firebrand as we don't really have anything else to utilize the nose for so the only thing that this build is missing is just a little bit of tankiness aspect uh, I'm I think I have a way of making it a little bit tankier but sadly I will be moving on from this build not because the build is bad the build's actually really good this build was amazing throughout the entire run as soon as i swapped over to flame reeve uh, firebrand and got the auto crit and got the circle aoe after leveling with glacier like i always do right with mages it was absolutely amazing but a viewer recently uh 
uh, obviously gifted five gifted subs and he was like build when and I was like okay fine I'll make a new build so we are putting a small little cap to this build but if you need any assistance with pushing this build farther than I have right now in this video please contact me and I'll tell you whatever you need but I'll also talk about it in the video where you can go with the build all right let's get into the skills shall we All right, here we are in game with the character. We have 1280 by 720p. That is my monitor resolution, right? It's just a joke about the AOE being, you know, obviously screen wide, right? But let's get into skills here. So we'll get into Flame Reeve. So Flame Reeve, we take five points into Heat Wave for more fire damage, right? And of course, we take one node into Slash and Burn. It's just a travel node. Then, of course, we take three points into Unbound Flame for travel nodes. It increases the width, but then, of course, we get to World Fire, where the width does not matter because, obviously, we have a circle AoE, so the width is always, like, 360, right? So width actually doesn't matter after this point, right? Then, of course, we take three points into Rending Ire, right? for melee fire damage, then we take this node, Rolling Thunder. Now, the reason why we take Rolling Thunder is we're turning everything into lightning, right? So we're turning this into lightning, we're turning this into more damage with lightning skills, we're turning this into shock chance, just so that we can get a better benefit from shock, right? So we can deal even more damage. If you want to stay with fire, I would heavily suggest uh, obviously going with an ignite version of this build, but we can get into that in a different day. Uh, but I would suggest lightning if you want to go crit. Now, of course, we take four points travel into Dancing Flames. The mana cost doesn't really matter. The attack speed doesn't matter. The range does matter, though. But what's important, though, is we have Rhythm of Fire. This is a very important node. Every four uses of Flame Reef has greatly increased width, range, and damage. So, if, as you can see here, one, two, three, four, four. So, it's insane, this AoE. Uh, now, normally, this by itself would be pretty bad because it would take you four uses. But then, of course, we have versatility. Using Firebrand or Mana Strike also counts a Flame Reef used for Rhythm of Fire node, meaning if we use one, two, three, we get a AoE, right? Absolutely amazing. That's it for Firebrand. Of course, let's get, I mean, that's it for Flame Reef. Let's go into Firebrand. All right, here we are with Firebrand here. So we take three point, uh, three points into Searing Brand as travel, take one point into Incineration, so we get more damage per stack, meaning every stack we get of Flame Reeve, we get 20% more damage, and we get up to six stacks with this version of the build. And we get one point here into Illuminating Fire, consuming three more stacks of Firebrand. Incineration guarantees a critical strike, meaning that if we consume three or more stacks here, two, three, we always crit, which is very strong for this build as it allows us to build into crit multi without having to build into melee critical strike chance or crit chance at all, which saves us up a lot of points to just deal more damage. And of course we take two points into wildfire for more maximum stacks, one point into galvanize to turn all of our ignite into shock chances, which will be important later, then three points into fulmination for attack speed because getting up to the max stacks is very annoying if you don't have attack speed right obviously right and of course five points into ignite chance which gets turned into shock and of course we get crossfire which gets ignite chance per stack so we get even more shock right obviously and of course uh after that let's wait for firebrand and then we have enchant weapon here we take four points into concentration for it to last longer so it lasts a total of nine seconds and of course we take four points into celerity for more attack speed makes it so we get up to our cap of firebrand stacks faster we take five points into molten steel for added melee fire damage any added damage at all is really strong for us two points into fulminate to give us melee shock chance uh, just travel and of course five points into thundering so we get even more flat damage all of this is very strong as you can tell the the difference between having it and not having it is amazing if you ever need any more single target this is the skill to use with this build and that's pretty much it for enchant weapon pretty obvious all right now we have flame ward flame ward's pretty much just designed for us to not die we take three points into stalwart defenses for uh 
uh, for more ward. Three points into Desperate Defense so that when it triggers, we uh, gain percentage of health as ward. Two points into Fuel the Flames, then one point into Dual Ages so you get an extra charge. One thing I would do, and we're going to do right now, is you're going to respec one node in Stalwart Defense and then put one node into Astonish because I forget to put on my Flame Ward sometimes, obviously, right? So this is a very strong node because of that. And we take five points into Barrier so we get even less damage, so we're pretty much immortal during Flame uh, flame Ward's uh, obviously duration. Uh, three points into Prismatic Buffer so we take less elemental damage, obvious, right? Three points into Dilation so we get more duration and mana efficiency. Mana efficiency doesn't matter because this build is pretty much mana neutral, but the, man uh, the duration is very strong. And that's it for Flame Ward. All right, now we have Teleport. Teleport is giving us a little bit of a res here with uh, Crystalline Passage. Gives us 25% increased uh, cold res. Then, of course, we take Resonant Plasma, so we get 25% fire and lightning res, right? Then, of course, we get 50% increased damage. And then, of course, as well, we take the time buff duration, so it lasts 8 seconds instead of 4, and pretty much just gives us elemental damage, gives us res. I do need to cap my res just a little bit more with gear, but that'll come with time. But, yeah, pretty much we're just using it to cap res and get more, uh, get more damage. That's it. And that's it for Teleport. Now to talk about passives, like I said, there will be a build planner down in the description for the full build if you need to see it on paper. Now, of course, we take four points into Scholar. I am going to take these points and put them up here into Prodigy and Mental Fortitude. That's going to be the last bit of investment we do where we're going to invest into intelligence and get a little bit more hybrid right three points into elementalist seven points into arcanist for the res so that we cap our res uh five points into mage flurry for our attack speed because it's very strong for us because it allows us to get our stacks of firebrand up faster 10 points into knowledge of destruction destruction for the uh 30 crit multi you could probably take five out of this and put it somewhere else i just wanted to see how much damage i could get and of course, we have six points into elemental affinity for even more elemental res, eight points into infused weapon for a lot of flat damage, two points into arcane warden. This is another point that you would put more points into if you uh, respect the tree a little bit. And of course, five points into arcane shielding so that we get damage taken if we've used a melee attack recently. Very, very, very nice. It makes up for the fact that we're dual wielding. One point travel into fire blood. Uh, five points into Essence Duel, we get even more ward, and of course we get uh, obviously attack speed. One point into Gemini so that we can equip swords in the offhand. So the, our setup right now is we're using a dagger in our main hand and a sword in our offhand, so that's how we're utilizing that. Eight points into Prismatic Blade, Dexterity is still strong for us because it gives us a way to scale our damage as well and gives us dodge, very strong. Five points into Awe Strike, increased shock effects, very strong for us, very, very, very strong node by the way. Uh, 10 points into Volca's Razor for 150% increased damage with our uh, Flame Reeve. Two points into Mental Fortitude, like I said, you'd max this out later on. And then six points into Blade Weaver, which gives us 15% more damage per stack and we can get up to six because our max Flame uh, Firebrand stacks is six, right? So obviously that's what we'd want to do, right? For a max single target, right? That's how our setup would be for max single target. And that's pretty much it for the passives today. All right, let's get into the next one. All right, here we are for the gearing. So our best in slot idle, 100% is this idol obviously rolled better but this is our best in slot idol this is exactly what you want you do want to get over that 300 max mana eventually what i would suggest doing so is by utilizing orion's eye to do so so you'd need an orion's eye to unlock that extra damage but that's how you would get that extra damage from the 300 max mana uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the perfect idol. In the end, it can give you 170% increased damage per idol. This build has a lot of investment that can be done. And the more investment you put into your idols like this, the less you have to invest on gear and all that, which means you can invest more on intelligence stacking so that you can get a little bit more hybrid than I am right now. Of course, for a helmet, we are running a Bone Clamor Barbarute. You could run a rare, you could run a Bone Clamor Barbarute. Either one works. 
Uh, I like Bone Clamber Bar Brute because it gives us a uh, ward per second and gives us necrotic res and gives us all the stats that we need. Very strong helmet, very strong even these days. Uh, for our amulet, we're running uh, Dodge, Dodge, Crit Multi. You could obviously run an Orion's Eye instead here and then get rid of all your void res. It's a very strong way of doing that. And of course, we have a Kree. Uh, crit multi, melee lightning, and then of course the reason why you want to Kree is because you get a shit ton more melee critical strike chance, or, or, I mean, cr critical multiplier. Now, you don't need the melee physical damage with this build because uh, we're not scaling melee physical damage, we're scaling melee elemental damage or lightning damage, so we do not need uh, the flat on this, so you can use whatever weapon you want. Then for a weapon, we're running a deicide sword with attack speed and crit multi. Uh, obviously, like I said, there is a weapon here that gives me a, just a little bit more damage here. This is what you'd want if you had a little bit more damage and you managed to get to obviously 100% increased attack speed without running it on your weapon. This is what you'd want to run, but obviously I've not gotten to that point because I'm an SSF, so we will wait on that. Of course, for our chests, we got dodge, dex, dodge, and, and HP. It's pretty much best in slot. That increased health is pretty much eh. You could put anything there you want, like you put res there, it doesn't matter because this build's going to be hybrid. We don't really care about the HP as much. We're going to be caring a lot more about the ward gen. You could do ward per second. That would work a lot better probably. Uh, for our rings, uh, just res. Like I said, if you could do an Orion's Eye, you wouldn't need that void res. Uh, res here, you wouldn't need that void res. You want intelligence and dexterity both on your prefixes because uh, obviously you want to stack dex for dodge and damage and then intelligence for HP. HP and damage, right? Uh, then for our belt, dodge potion, dodge and dodge. The last suffix doesn't matter. It could be res, could be HP, whatever you need. Probably HP, hybrid health. Uh, for our gloves, we're using engrave gauntlets, attack speed, uh, intelligence, dodge, and physical uh, res. This almost caps our fizz res with one slot. So you just need like one more affix of fizz res, and you're, I think, believe you're capped on fizz res. Then, of course, dodge, dex, Movement speed dodge, right, for our boots, because you want as much dodge as possible, because we are playing a squishy build. Of course, for our Radiant Crest, this is pretty much perfect for a Radiant Crest. Obviously, you wouldn't want that Lightning Res. You'd want something like HP, uh, and the Void Res obviously be dumped if you're running an Orion's Eye, but for the prefixes, that is absolutely perfect. Crit Multi, Dodge Rating. Now, I have went a little bit overboard with my Crit Multi. You do not need 475% Crit Multi. 400% is plenty, right? So, for instance, you could probably get away, instead of running Critical Strike Multiplier here on your Kree, you could run Attack Speed, right, and get faster attacks. And then on your amulet, you could run an Orion's Eye and not run Crit Multi on there. And then, of course, you could take five points out of Knowledge of Destruction, right, to get to 400% crit, but still do the same amount of damage, pretty much. I was just memeing, and I wanted to see how much Crit Multi I could get, thanks to the fact of how busted Krees are for this build, right? But yeah, probably go for attack speed here, so you can get even more faster attack speed. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. Uh, have a wonderful rest of the day wherever you guys are at. This was definitely one of my more favorite builds in recent history. Very, 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 very fun. Just a bucket of fun, right? That being said, bye!